You got to do it when it's really a regulation and a policy. But then the law says if they try to enforce that policy in public schools to take shots to be there, that by law they have to give you the waiver. But there's no law to take the shot. When we come back, I'll tell you the next part of the story, what the census is turning into and the multi-uses, some of them very draconian, for these census takers at your door with the GPS. Then we'll go to Mexico City. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hi, my name is MZ, owner of KSCO in Santa Cruz, California. And like Alex Jones, I'm passionate about talk radio, that great bastion of freedom of expression for us all. I'm also passionate about helping people know the joys, benefits, and surprisingly simple methods of becoming entrepreneurs who work for themselves and not as wage slaves for someone else, or even worse, for large companies with no heart and soul, nor loyalty to their employees. If you are tired of being dependent on others for a living and ready to start owning yourself, loving your work, and setting the sky as the limit for your earning potential, I want you to know about an exciting, great business opportunity involving the marketing of healthful dark chocolate that actually helps people lose weight and can help them make money, perhaps lots of it, just by helping us spread the word about this wonderful, unique product. Get on the web and go to chocolate.ownmyself.com. That's chocolate.ownmyself.com and check out our opportunity. You'll know pretty quick if you're interested. If you are, we will connect with you and get you up and running. We don't want any money from you and you'll be amazed at how simple this system is. Remember, chocolate.ownmyself.com. In the New World Order's war against humanity, Barack Obama is the tip of the spear. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. The Obama deception completely destroys the myth that Obama is working for the best interest of the American people. Well, Obama's already fudging. He's yeah. fudged since day one in this election. If you have a demagogue with a fanatical mass movement, a personality cultist, who is imposing the program of a group of extreme bankers and finance oligarchs, that's fascism. It's not about left or right. It's about a one-world government. This film documents who Obama works for, the lies he has told, and his real agenda. Get your copy of The Obama Deception today at Infowars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. The Obama Deception. The people strike back. You already know that drinking pure, high alkaline pH water is the most important factor in maintaining high energy and vibrant health. Most experts agree that the water you drink should be at a pH level of 8 or higher. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops combine a unique formula of the most alkaline ingredients. Using Plasma pH Drops is one of the best ways to make your water alkaline to help you get rid of acid and regain your health and energy. Simply put 10 drops per liter of water you drink to raise the pH to the ultimate level. Alkalizing water helps your body rid itself of acidic waste and increases the oxygen content of your body. Disease organisms like bacteria and cancer cannot survive in an alkaline, high pH environment. Order your bottle of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops now by going directly to AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Or by calling 269-216-9767. 269-216-9767 today. <laughs> a YouTube channel. I've seen quite a few of his videos uh, like the work he does. He went down to Mexico City uh, to get a report from what's happening down there. We also had Sherry Tenpenny, doctor who was in Mexico during this was going on, and quite a few other people that have been reporting for us. So I want to get his perspective coming up in a moment. He goes by his uh, YouTube handle, george 4 uh, com, uh, or uh, that's the uh, channel there at uh, YouTube is george 4 Title. Uh, now, I don't know where you'll go if you put a .com on it. All these websites, all these numbers, so little time to keep track of it all. Now, uh, I want to finish up with the census news. Then we'll go to uh, George, and then I'm going to go back into the census and open the phones up uh, in the time we have left here at the show. But just briefly, and I'll do more on this tomorrow because people are so upset about it. Maybe we'll dig out some of the old videos I have of myself and others confronting the census takers. You have a Fourth and Fifth Amendment right to not have somebody cross your fence, your no trespassing sign, to come on your property, 
uh, and to demand to ask, do you have a low flush toilet? What types of stocks and bonds do you have? How much money in the bank? This is in some of the census forms. They have different ones they give you, but that was on record from the year 2000, all over the news. Some census takers in 2000, quote, forced their way into homes. Others were killed by dogs climbing over fences into private property. I mean, it's crazy for 12 bucks an hour what these folks do. I'm not saying all census workers are bad, but the point is they haven't been trained in the Bill of Rights Constitution, and they go around with these sheets threatening to have people arrested if they don't answer all their questions. Now, I was one of the unlucky people in 2000 uh, to get the long form that uh, a certain amount of households got that had 49 questions. Other forms asked, what type of firearms do you own? Do you have children? Are they homeschooled? Are they public schooled? Now, ahead of next year's big census, it's already begun, and the feds have said this. They're going to start having yearly censuses trying to use the U.S. code, and the Constitution's very you know, simple thing about enumerate the people for their congressional districts to demand constant questions. You know, I guess every morning you'll line up in front of a drill sergeant in front of your house and they'll say, okay, census rules, tell me, you know, in confession what you dreamed about last night. I mean, if they can force you to say what type of toilet you've got, how much money you've got in the bank, if you own firearms, if you know, what you do for a living, then why not make them answer what your dreams are? No Fifth Amendment. In fact, pull up the Fifth Amendment for folks on screen. Fifth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, and, and, and we'll show people. In fact, I can just read it to people right now here on air. Let me just go to the Bill of Rights here for my pocket Constitution. Let me go to Article 5. No person shall be held to answer for capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a presentment of indictment of a grand jury except in cases arising in land or naval forces or in the militia, so that's during a war, when an act of service in time of war or public danger, nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be tried twice to put in double jeopardy of life and limb. They do that now, violate that. Nor shall he be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor to be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation, which now under the new London Kilo decision, they said they can take your property for non-government reasons without compensation. So there's the Fifth Amendment. So it's illegal and unconstitutional what they're doing, but they send these poor people out. Now, they admit in the Pahrump Valley Times, the NPR uh, has an article, Census Bureau adopts GPS to find Americans' homes. So here are several mainstream news articles. Now, I already knew this, but last night, making you know, getting ready for this show, I went and I researched both of these. And then we're going to George for title, who is uh, in Mexico City, YouTube reporter. Census workers face dogs, guns in verifying addresses. And uh, it goes on uh, from there uh, to uh, report on all of this. And uh, it talks about how they're building up for a year from now, this is this is right now, this is April 17, 2009, and they have handheld GPS to mark the front door of your house as part of the next wave of the census when they come and demand that you fill out the long forms, how many guns you own. What I'm, I'm not kidding. This happened last time. We're going to do it this time. You go to the census website, they say it. What your stocks and bonds are, what your toilet does, you know, uh, all of this. So, and then I also have mainstream articles with the Acorn people getting billions in funding and this new USAService.org where they advertise as if it's federal, but it's really private Democratic Party. They admittedly go around with GPS marking your home and whether or not your name and your home and if you support Obama or not. And they claim, oh, we're just finding out who Obama supporters are. Just incredible police state done like it's no big deal. So, again, the average census worker just thinks, oh, I'm just confirming the person lives here so we can send the next wave of, of little Stasi bureaucrat out. Now, the problem is they admit that they keep having problems with SWAT teams going to the wrong door, going to the wrong house, or, or double homes, you know, uh, 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 these uh, homes that are duplexes where they SWAT team the wrong house. You hear about this all the time. And if you read in the federal documents, Homeland Security has said through the census years ago, you can dig this out when you do an article on it, but I remember reading it, that they want to discover where everybody lives in America so they know where to send SWAT teams or Homeland Security. That's then also shared with locals. They also, under Homeland Security, have stated they want you to have to have an ID card to get a job. But illegal aliens, by the way, are exempt from that. Uh, under the stimulus package and other things you've noticed. So they're exempt, but citizens have to. And they have said that uh, they want this total control grid over what we do in our everyday lives all across our society. And so by doing this, they're confirming where you live and 
what you're doing and that you do live there. Okay, they're finding out how people move. They're finding out how people are renting a house that aren't supposed to be. They're finding about about the underground economy. Uh, and expanding on that, remember that headline effect, Google this, guys. Scoff laws. Scoff laws get caught ordering pizzas or for.